the kind of this is a clock designed for a bedroom, right? So we want you to kind of maybe we'll take that digitally back. detox, right? We don't, we don't, we're not we're not trying to add a lot more technology and like stimulus, you know, especially in like a bedroom environment where you need to you need to rest, right? So the philosophy behind this device is, it's a clock. It's going to provide your basic clock features like alarms. Obviously, a little bit more advanced than a typical alarm. You can set like timers, and uh, you can use your voice to set the alarm. But the idea is to be able to um, provide not just an alarm clock, but maybe you know be able to play music from your Google playlist or Spotify, right? Um, yep. You can, you can set routines. So if you're if you're familiar with the how the Google Home ecosystem works, you can set routines. You can say, hey, Google, good night, and the device will run through you know your script of routines, turn off the lights, play some relaxing music, tell you your schedule for the night, turn down the volume of, the, of your speaker. So the idea behind this this is to really like, you know, be a great companion for, for you know, your bedroom environment. Also in the morning, you know, when you're getting up, it'll have uh, smart features like suggesting certain alarms. So if you link up your calendar to your Google, your Google calendar to your, your home app, it'll suggest, hey, you have uh, an event tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, would you like to set an alarm so you get up on time for that? And over here, the volume buttons. Yep, here, so you have volume buttons here, you know. Uh, on the back, you have a... Is it a touch or you press it? You press it. Right. Okay. Um, yep. Okay. Yeah. Press it. Okay. It's a hard button. Okay. It's a hard button. So you know, if you're like yeah. roaming around the middle of the night, you can just press it, you know, yeah. up or down. Um, another neat thing is we have a built-in accelerometer. Right. So if you need, if you're waking up and you don't, you're like, your eyes are still crusty and you don't know what to do. You're like, ah, I just need my alarm to snooze. All you need to do is tap it. Right. So you wake up and you're like, ah. Oh. Does it have to be on the top or any side? Right? Just on the top right here. Yeah, typically works the best, right? So, yeah, smack Yeah, just be like, ah, shut up. I need, I need another 15 minute snooze, right? Not too hard though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, so that's the idea behind what we're uh, offering. And then we have a microphone mute. If you, in case you just want to privacy, like, I don't want you listening to me all the time yeah, in the bedroom. Like that, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we've added a USB port, so you know, obviously this is gonna take up a, one of your power outlets. So we're, we added a USB port so you can charge your phone and whatnot. So yeah, some some nice deep touches. There's an ambient uh, sensor, light sensor in here, so. You know, when it detects that there's a lot of light in the room, it'll dim the, it'll uh, brighten the screen or dim the screen. Um, so there's a lot of neat little features to it. Uh, non-slip pad on the bottom. Yeah, non-slip pad on the bottom. Uh, nice soft touch material here. Um, and you know, it starts at a price of uh, well, it's going for seven nine seventy nine ninety nine. So uh, fairly affordable. Uh, a little bit more than say the Google Home Mini. Um, but it offers you know the visual aspect of the clock. So uh, yeah, it's, it's coming out. Hmm? It's coming out. Uh, it's 